Spring Bulk Day 19, boys. Today, I had a freaking good, solid day. It was just kind of a continuation of fun from yesterday. Eating a bunch of random crap, which is always fun. You know, had some freaking popcorn all buttered up. Had some peanut M&Ms, dude. I mean, that's just, like, one thing that I had. I had cinnamon rolls for breakfast, dude. Double cheeseburger. All kind of good stuff. Now, am I recommending this on the bulk? No. But, do you guys ever have fun? You know? I oftentimes see people who eat certain foods get absolutely, uh, you know, lambasted on social media. And it's, it's, it's one of those things, like, at the end of the day, you don't know everything. And... Not everybody's the same, right? Like, people always talk about good and bad foods and healthy foods and unhealthy foods, but you also see some people who respond super well to, like, the carnivore diet, and then you have some people who respond very poorly to it and have better health on a vegan diet. And I think people are so blind to the fact that everybody has different bodies. Everybody responds differently to different things in general. And what's healthy for someone might not be exactly the same for somebody else. Now, there are some metrics you can go based off of, like, being lighter means generally that you're going to be healthier up till a certain point where it starts to be more unhealthy, right? Like, if you're just skin and bones, that's not healthy. But, like, you know, going up past, like, you know, as a bodybuilder, probably anything above like 280 it, it, you're getting in the territory where it's generally generally speaking not healthy you know and uh i guess my point is and it, it's all dependent on your body like you see some guys who are really tall and they look like kind of lanky at 280 doesn't mean they're unhealthy for them it's going to be different so even then that was still a general statement that i made but i guess my point is uh, there's no one size fits all for anything and you guys should not worry so much about what you're eating and oh this is bad and this is good like you you, it, you cannot tell me um, definitively that something is just the worst for you if it's just a simple food or that it's the best for you even uh, like a lot of people who kind of like parrot these ideas of like oh this this oil or this food or this this fat whatever is bad for you they don't even know the biological mechanisms behind that so i would question like okay who's telling you this and then they always end up having some kind of like tribal leader like health expert that they follow who just makes statements out of thin air has no evidence to back it up so definitely follow people who are logical and reasonable but even then i wouldn't recommend following somebody for super hyper specific advice uh, advice unless they have i wouldn't even say the credentials because i don't think credentials are that important based on everything i've seen in my life uh but i think how much work are they actually putting in to learn like current research uh do they are they biased uh you know look for things like that and that's who you want to learn from if if they're not biased uh, you know, they're up to date on what we have knowledge of today. Like that's, those are all good things. So, and, uh, I'd say most importantly, yeah, following somebody can potentially guide you in the right direction, but I think you have to learn from your own body. Like, for example, I tolerate pretty much all food very well. So I don't have any kind of digestive issues. I don't have any nutrient absorption issues i don't have like any issue putting on muscle uh and that would tell me that basically kind of what i'm doing right now is probably pretty healthy you know so uh, <sighs> i'm really tired but um figure out what you need to do to be the best version of yourself and don't be a puppet to random ideologies that are posed by some random Instagram influencer. Think of think of the right things to do for your own body. All right. Take care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for freaking abs and grip work. I want to go for 250. Um, 
for two on my right hand. I might be able to do that. And then I want to go for 250 for one on my left because that's about where I'm at there.